Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today we're going to be checking the catalytic converter on this vehicle here. Let's go ahead and get started. Now you might be wondering why would you want to be checking a catalytic converter? Well, this particular vehicle, and I'm going to show you in a minute, has been giving an engine code saying that the catalytic converter might be bad. So before actually spending the money to replace it, because catalytic converters can be very expensive, what I'm going to do is take a borescope camera. We're going to put it in through the upstream O2 sensor port into the exhaust system and go down and actually examine the catalytic converter. Because in a lot of cases, the catalytic converter is just dirty and you can clean it with different cleaners. There's Cataclean, there's Doralube has a cleaner for it, CRC has a cleaner for it. I'll have different links down in the description for different cleaners that you can check out the product reviews that I've done to see which ones work best. You can also take lacquer thinner, mix it in with your gas and run it through. Basically, that'll cause it to burn hot and it'll burn out any dirt off of there and fix the problem. So what I want to do is take a look at it and see if the catalytic converter is just dirty so we can just clean it and be done with it. If not, if there's any kind of uh, debris and junk maybe starting to break apart on the actual the honeycomb piece, then it would need to be replaced. But I want to take a look at that first before we spend the money. So. Let's go into the vehicle. I'm going to connect my diagnostic reader and I'll show you the code that we're getting and then we'll remove the O2 sensor and take a look at it. All right, so I have this little diagnostic reader, just a cheap little one. Um, you can get different ones, but we're going to plug up to it. I'm going to show you the code that we're getting. And you can see here, we're looking at the P0420 code. And on top of that, I'm gonna show you in a minute, we are getting the check engine light on as well. You can see there the check engine light on. We also have that airbag symbol, just ignore that. That's another project we're working on for a future video. So don't get caught up with that, but you can see the check engine light is on as well. So what we're going to do is take a look at the catalytic converter and see how that looks to see if it's something that can be cleaned or if it needs to be replaced. So let's get started. We have this engine cover. Pull this off. These things just get in the way anyway that off to the side we can get a clear shot here and I'll bring the camera in I'll show you where my upstream O2 sensor is but as I just mentioned a lot of cars you're gonna have to get underneath and find it upstream O2 sensor is the one be um, which is between your exhaust manifold and the catalytic converter so it's in front of the catalytic converter your downstream is the one after it going between the catalytic converter and the muffler and the exhaust out that way if you want to understand more about the O2 sensors, their placement terminology, I'll have a link across the top for that. Also down in the description, there will be a video I did explaining that. But let's get a close up here and I'll show you what we're going to be taking off. This is where I just took that engine cover piece off. So if we're moving our way along this way, you'll see down all the way back down there. There's our downstream O2 sensor. Let's see if I can get it clear. I can't. But that's it. Now, if we turn this way, there's our upstream. That's what we're going to be taking off. That's the one before the catalytic converter. And that one down there is the one after it. All right. You can see I'm using one of these sockets made for an O2 sensor. That makes it a lot easier to remove. If not, a 22 millimeter uh, wrench will also work. Okay, here's our O2 sensor. We'll put that off to the side. And then now, let's see if we can get a shot of it. That opening there, that's where we're going to insert our borescope camera. This is what I'm using here. It's a little borescope camera. It has LED lights that will turn on when we put it in there so we can clearly see it. So I'm gonna insert it in and then I'm gonna switch the camera on to view it and then we'll see what it looks like. Coming in here, 
This is our upstream O2 sensor port right here. We'll go right in and you can see the honeycomb structure there inside the catalytic converter. Now looking at it, let's take a better look here. Let me move the camera. You can look at it better. Here we go. It looks pretty dirty. Um, normally these should be nice and clear, no obstructions. But as we look also, you can see it's all broken up. Normally it's a flat surface. We can see where pieces have cracked off and broken off. So it doesn't look good. Um, on top of that, it's dirty. So dirty and broken it doesn't look good. So I'm not sure what we're going to be doing with this one. But um, let's. Uh, this is the other inside here of the catalytic converter coming into it. But um, let's pull the camera out of here. All right, so we took a look in there. Um, the catalytic converter, that, that shield looked a little bit kind of cracked up in there. Normally, it should be a, a smooth kind of honeycomb kind of look as seen here. This is a good catalytic converter. You can see how the honeycomb screen is nice and clear. It's nice and flat and smooth. That one looked a little bit rough. Um, I'm going to try to run some cleaner through it, see if that helps it or not. I don't know. If not, it may just need to be replaced. But um, that wraps up this video. I was just doing this quick project. wanted to film it and post it out here for, for all of you to see it. If you're getting a catalytic converter code, Rather than spending the money on the catalytic converter, if you have one of these borescope cameras, if not, you can pick them up fairly inexpensive, but they come in handy. Just take the upstream O2 sensor out, feed it down in there, and take a look and see exactly what's going on before you spend the money. So that wraps up this video. I hope it was informative for you and helped you out with anything you're working on. Please send me any questions and comments. I would love to hear from you. As always, I appreciate all the support. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.